this jackass? Yep, it used to be called the jackass penguin, but it's nowadays referred to as the African penguin. Well, as you can see, I'm near Christmas Bay, where the penguin is. I'm going to record in the studio. It will be better to talk from there. It's just amazing this penguin could wash up here. Tuesday the 19th of July 2016, I went for a walk on the beach at Christmas Bay, around about 4 p.m. That is when I spotted the dead object, which I first thought was a dead seagull, but when I saw the legs and flippers, I realized it was a penguin. I was quite amazed. I went to fetch my camera, and then I took some pictures. Later, I contacted Mr. Simon Bundy, a local environmental specialist, and he was also surprised and interested. He confirmed that it was indeed an African penguin. This morning of the 20th, I went again to shoot the video material for my vlog. And, this, and the penguin was still in the exact same spot where I found it. I was later contacted by MS Di Jones of the Dolphin Coast Conservancy. And I retrieved the penguin for them so that further research could be done on it. The African penguin is mostly found in 24 different islands from Nelson Mandela Bay right around the coast towards the west and up the western coast of South Africa and Namibia. They do not occur in KwaZulu-Natal as a rule. Nelson Mandela Bay is about 750 kilometers coastline-wise away from Belita. There is also a colony in captivity at the Eastern Cape's East London Aquarium at the Esplanade and that is closer at about 500 kilometers. They also keep penguins at the Sea World, at the Shaka Marine World in Durban. And that is about 40 kilometers straight line over the sea from here. I spoke to Anne Kuntz at Sea World to establish whether they were missing a penguin. No, they don't. But she enlightened me a bit more. According to her, it happens often this time of the year and they had one brought in last week and there were about five known strandings, either dead or alive, so far this year in case it in. The one they received, apparently, got washed out in St. Lucia, which is even more north. They are lured into the big waters when the sardines come past Nelson Mandela Bay in their seasonal migration, and they follow them. The sardines obviously travel quite far, for hundreds of kilometers, and attract a lot of predators. In this process, the penguins may get trapped in the currents and in storms. And if they lose the shoals of sardines, they also get in trouble to find food that is suitable for them. They then either die at sea and get washed out, or they come out in a totally exhausted, near-death state. We had a huge storm a few days ago, and that should explain that part. On the 30th of April 2016, I took some photos of the penguins that reside at the Boulders Beach in Simons Town, in the Western Cape. Look at these photos. The adults are white and black, and they are very similar in the way that the patterns are arranged over their bodies. They all basically have this white question mark shape on the side of the heads, and a pink gland above the eye, with which they sense and control body temperature. The feathery coating of their body has a wax-like appearance and is shining to some extent. In between, you will see penguins that are fluffy and basically completely brown. These are the juveniles. So just by looking at this little penguin, which seems to be about 60 centimeters from feet to beak, we must assume that it was just entering adulthood. Its face has a bit of white in it, but the strongly defined patterns do not exist yet. It is not brown anymore, 
there's black and white and it is not clear if the pink glands above the eyes were formed already. Such a young bird must have had a hard time in a very difficult sea to end up all the way here. We must admire the endurance of these animals, the fact that some of them actually makes it out alive. Going, man. That was quick and informative. I liked it. Keep it up, man. <laughs> Thanks, gangster man. Yes, man. We need to get the ball rolling. Reporting is now in the, in the hands of a citizen, you know? and that doesn't mean it has to be without gravy. We just need to know, uh, we, we just need the right amount of support, eh? and we will make this great for all of them. It should be clear from the videos that you and me have produced so far that we, we up the standards all of the time. We also need feedback on where we can improve. Hi there everybody. I go to places and tell stories of what I've seen. I tell them here. Take it on the rocks. Chris on the rocks. Collaboration is the name of the game for any vlogger. Many hours go into this. Give us your inputs and subscribe please. Subscriptions makes us possible. We fade without them. We bloom and impress with support. Please like my videos and please share it to friends. Soon to follow will be regular postings on ship salvaging coming from my huge stock of video material that I've collected over two years. Many stories to tell. Also about the beauty of the world I live in. Meditations in nature my style. Work together. This is going to be fun for all of us. Sometimes opinions as well. Views of the world. It will all be there. I want to show you my world as it is and I hope it will be funny as well. In time I want to have a one size fits it all channel.